welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, 2015, and we're excited to have with us Gracie and Rachel.
Watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Gracie and Rachel. Hey guys, what's hey. up? Um, anything you need to do, you know, fiddling <laughs> around or changing things, you can go ahead and do that. Thank you very much for coming out. And, Thank, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, could we uh, talk about those set of songs, specifically the music sure. videos for them, and maybe just start with the dance aspect of it? You guys yeah. grew up in dance, or you've been dancing for a while? We met in met dance, dance class. class. Wouldn't call us dancers, but we were. You know, <laughs> we met in dance class, and then uh, we were asked to play music for a dance show. Okay. And um, or they they asked like who the musicians in the class were, and we were like the only two I think at the time that, that raised volunteer. our hands. So yeah. we were kind of set up. It was like an arranged marriage kind of okay, situation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you? And um, then? Uh, we were sixteen or seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, high school, living in Berkeley. And, um, yeah, right on. And so at that time, had you been you had been dancing for how long up to that point? Or you're not sure? Different, I mean, different for both of you? Dancer, quote unquote. Quote unquote. Quote unquote. Okay. I did yeah. ballet for a little bit. Okay. But yeah, we try and bring it into our work, I think, just visual interpretations yeah. and music. Just a yeah. form of expression. Yeah, okay. You know, just roll around on the floor and we yeah. call yeah. it yeah. dancing. <laughs> Especially our last video is a lot of rolling around on the floor. Yeah, it is. It yeah, starts I'm out so on the floor. For, for Thank you for calling it dancing. dancing. Yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> Did you guys choreograph? I'm, I'm going to use quotes now, too, mm -hmm. I guess, to fill you. Did you choreograph it yeah. yourself? At first, we had, like, a pretty set choreography to the song. Okay. Um, but then once we were actually in the studio and, and filming the video, um, we, it became more fluid. We started doing some improvisation. He encouraged the 
um, director we were working with was encouraging us to kind of do like touch, um, what touch it, contact, contact, contact improv. improv. Okay. Um, and just kind of get outside of our comfort zone in this and like the set pres prescriptions that we had, you know, figured yeah, out done for this. Before. It was yeah. funny because the first video we did for Go, yes. the director um, asked us to like make a set choreography. Like he said, kind okay, of the choreograph. Opposite. Okay. choreograph this and we thought we took it really literally and we thought he meant like a hip-hop like dance you know okay. so we choreographed yeah, it. he yeah. was like no that's not what I meant I meant like your like spots in the room and like right. you know the storyline so sure we've learned how to kind outline of do yeah. both yeah because in that one you start out on the ground right yeah. and then you're mm -hmm. kind of like flitting around and then you end up both ground. together yeah, yeah just on, on the ground is when a theme that you like did you say what do you say contact improv yeah, what, contact what exactly does that mean just playing off each other's like yes. body okay yeah. <laughs> yeah I know about improv definitely <laughs> well, contact he improv he said you just don't say no you okay. just go there so I'm listening to the other person's body and just like always being able to like catch them if they're falling sure. and vice versa sure um, which is trust because we're not very affectionate so you know in general in gen physically <laughs> in emotionally general, you don't but. spend much time together or I think about it. <laughs> nothing not we spend all. no time together yeah but okay so so you time. live together and you live together since you've mm -hmm. moved from berkeley or yeah. before uh, even yeah we've well, we've lived in new york in a loft for about three years yeah and um yeah it was just made the most sense for like you know we can rehearse you sure. know we can say meet in the living room in five and it's a really easy rehearsal yeah. schedule so that's like convenient yeah. um but yeah, we, we live Hopefully in the landlord's not listening into this conversation. Yeah, right I was going to ask oh, about yeah. that part. Is we're that not really hard? supposed to be li living there. Yeah, let's okay. It's a commercial. Everyone. It's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> well, whatever. It's an artist space. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. an artist, so yes. it's commercial in we're the sense that you're making studio. things. Yeah, we also happen to sometimes sleep there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's there how you go. plant it. You're, yeah, exactly. you're recording there most of the time. Yeah, and if you pass out at the end of the day because you had a long day. You had a long night at you know? the studio. Yeah. Yeah. You only sleep eight hours a day. That's yeah. Yeah, it's really it's not fine. the big It's good really deal. our business. <laughs> do, are, are you able, though, to rehearse without, I don't know, annoying anyone around you? Or like, do your neighbors Rachel ever knock on the door? Rachel gets gigs from rehearsing. For the most part. Dude, that's awesome. People Seriously? knock on the door and they're Sometimes. like, hey, I got like an orchestra gig and I need a violinist. I mean, that's happened before. So. Wow. Yeah. So we think it's a good thing. I think I, mean, I think people we're like We're pretty it. fortunate to not have had people. We have like other artists in the building who say, hey, I need to record something. Can you guys not play for five minutes? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that, other than that, it's pretty, we've gotten away It's with, a community of it. similar like-minded artists. That's cool then. Yeah. There's a drummer who lives in the building, own. so he upstages us. There we go. I was going to say at the very least, <laughs> it's not an electric guitar. I mean, these can yeah. be loud, definitely, yeah. but it's not an electric well, guitar. I mean, who doesn't want to listen to, you know, my scales? <laughs> For two hours. Scale soothing. serenades. It's so Who doesn't want to hear that? Yes. Serenade scales. <laughs> Thanks again, you guys. Oh, uh, thank for you. Coming thank out. you. Thanks yeah, for you having can, us. You can roll into your next one. You're ready. Cool. This is um, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a world where dreams only live in your sleep Welcome to a world where what you get is what you see Welcome to a world that's hard to leave Welcome to a world of make-believe So very comfortable And I don't wanna get that way Oh no, I don't wanna get that way And you are getting so very comfortable And you shouldn't get that way Oh no, you shouldn't get that way And we are getting so very Don't have 
have to use my eyes Take me to a cemetery Full of life Take me to uncomfortable Watching Audio Tree Live. And we're in the studio with Gracie and Rachel. Would you guys share with me a little bit about the black white aesthetic? Maybe to start kind of how that came about. Good versus mm. evil. Yeah. Clearly, Generally. I am evil. <laughs> <laughs> um, Was that a personality thing that you noticed, I don't know, early I on? I think the or way we dress naturally, she's a little more on the darker side and okay. a little more on the lighter side. True. Like, I always joked if I was to show up to a gig without my performance clothes, I would still be wearing all black. You'd still be wearing so your it's performance really not clothes. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would, yeah. wouldn't be such a... Or she'd be naked, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and possibly you would be in the same set of clothes as well, Probably. right? In the yeah, thing, I mean, yeah. we milk it a little bit. If I'm naked, yeah. you're we naked, We exaggerate girl. A, little, a little bit, you know, just for dramatic effect. Yeah, does that, does that continue to but, um, manifest itself in the music that you write then as well? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, Rachel brings some really dark qualities and... Um, there's there's a lot of that kind of fusion in dark and light in our in our playing style for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So um, in terms of like what's actually being written, I mean, are, are you attempting to write darker stuff? Are you attempting to write brighter stuff on your respective instrument? Or is it just what sort of naturally flows out when you're playing together? I think it's a combination of yeah. the two. Okay. Yeah. I Boring think we answer, both, but... No, I that's mean, I think we <laughs> both have like a, a dark sonic yeah. in intuition. Sometimes, like, we'll just bring something to, to the table and it's it's too happy or something, and we'll the other one will know how to how to make it what we want it to be. Mm -hmm. so, Got it. Okay. Yeah, kind of figuring out that balance, but but certainly, like, you know, in terms of our training, you know, Rachel's got you know classical work, and I have more contemporary style. So, you know, just informing those as we go with whatever direction we're going in is is kind structure of structure versus. Structure versus freedom. freedom. Yeah, it's kind yeah. Of our cliche. Yeah, and so then, have you been able to? Um, like influence each other's thought process as well. Growing up in a more classical background, more contemporary background, have you taken cues totally. more contemporary from her and vice versa? Absolutely. I think especially in the beginning, you know, I was a little bit more hesitant and cl and closed off, okay. um, not feeling like I could um, reach this creative outlet that I now. Yeah, feel very comfortable sure. doing um, outside of scales or like routine yeah, or like work. my repertoire that I it's a sequence you know you mm -hmm. go through a very um, prescribed set of um, stages in in the classical world and yeah um, I and totally I admire it enough. And I, <laughs> so I learned from yeah. Rachel how to do more of that yes 
it's, it's, a, it's a process together. Yeah. yeah, when you're writing, then is there there's an influence there? Obviously, I just heard you mention, you know, I don't know, a uh, dissonant chord earlier or something mm-hmm. like that. Like, hey, you're yeah. coming in on this bar. I mean, have you been able to give instruction? Yeah, definitely. You know? It's more of an understanding now than there used to be. Sure. In that in that process, and we do try to, I don't know, bring it all back to to theory and really analyze what we're what we're doing chordally and structurally um, from from the classical point of view. Yeah. Um, but I also think we like to write without knowing, like, this is this chord, and it's right. and, it, and it needs to um, suspend into this chord, or, um, you know, going back to, like, really classical 1800s, like, you have to have part rating, yeah. you know, counterpoint, and things that, and things that are must resolved. lead into another <laughs> chord and mm-hmm. resolve a certain way. Mm-hmm. So I don't know any of that. It's like a... It's like a bit of both, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. We want to analyze that, but we also kind of want to like do our own thing. Yeah, absolutely. And not feel like we're confined in and, any way. And I feel like that ties totally into the beginning of the conversation, ties into the black and white aesthetic again. It's like the battle between those two mm-hmm. things that are obviously represented, you know? Yeah, sweet. In your outfits and whatever. Sweet, yeah. Thank Thanks. you. No, yeah. I, I appreciate tying that back into the... Fits. Yeah, of course. Nicely uh, done. Yeah, thanks for sharing. You guys can roll. <laughs> She's roll cheating into the with next some one. some black. Thing. Yeah, I'm cheating. Yeah, there's Usually a little. There are a few marks I'm in cheating. there, but they're cool yeah. shapes though, yeah. so you win. Whatever. Audio trees, like you know, it's fun. <laughs> um, okay. Um, upside down. Upside
Watching Audio Tree Live We're in the studio with Gracie and Rachel. Before we go into the last one, I'm curious if you could lay out an ideal performance space, what that would look like. This Maybe one? you've already played. Yeah, the- <laughs> <laughs> Thank Seriously. you. Thank you very much. We want to bring all of you guys everywhere we go. Just cameras everywhere. <laughs> they can just film you everywhere. Yeah. We can have glass between you and the audience. Totally. So they're and not looking things, at you. Just like eating scones and then playing. <laughs> Got just, the grand piano. I'm like really fortunate right now because I like have this beautiful vantage point of a triangle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking at everyone, so I'm in heaven. It's great here, but I don't know. I mean, what a trampoline. Concert in, halls. In this, yeah. Ca- I, I mean, would concert you prefer halls? concert halls <laughs> yeah. over? Okay. Well, yeah. just yeah. because of the natural room <laughs> verb that you get okay. in sure. like a recital hall. Um, and everybody's facing forward, paying attention. Right. They, nice and, and, and they sort of have to, right? They have because to. they're sitting. They are forced. <laughs> they in must. Jail. And talking is frowned upon. Yeah. Or, or cell, phone, <laughs> cell phoning of any kind. It's all yeah. about us. It's got to all like be that. about us. Have um, you been able to play at a concert hall before? Um, have we? Played? Yeah, well, Sellersville, and was that, that was a nice hall. Guthrie Center. Guthrie kind of Center is an awesome place. Yeah. yeah, we've done a few things here and there. Um, but Carnegie will be one day. Yeah. We hope. Yeah. Yeah. That'd and even sweet. like recording in a concert hall is something I think we would like to look forward to doing. Because of the openness yeah. of the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's a good question, though. We should start writing down all our. Yeah, I mean, dream, I'm just curious. Yeah, with halls. that yeah. stuff, obviously, yeah, people yeah. people not talking is nice, being forced to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about size, though? I mean, obviously, bit bigger is great, but I mean, Thousands. yeah, a giant amphitheater. <laughs> but I mean, there's a limit there, right? Yeah. Where at some yeah, point true. it's not even interesting anymore. We, we right. do like in more intimate settings. Yeah. So we where can connect engaging. with the audience. Yeah. Sure. Sometimes it's strange when you have just a bunch of people and you feel like you can't, you know, connect. Right. Um, emotionally, visually. Right. Whatever. Especially with you guys are kind of. Not trapped exactly, but especially you, if you're playing a piano on stage, yeah. you know, you're like at mm-hmm. that station totally. more or less, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And when we play like with a keyboard, we're a little more engaged, but, sure, but sure. again, it can still be, yeah, tough to tell. Yeah. Well, you guys can just keep coming here as, our, as our house band. We'll just come we back. Can just That'd play. be awesome. Yeah. Whenever. Blake, I remember you said that. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> keep me to it. Yeah. You, you can go to the Thank higher ups so with much. that. Yeah. Okay. So um, they're on a West Coast tour in mid December. So you can check them out if you're out there completing uh, their debut album right now. So um, just look to their website, social media for the uh, release date and that kind of thing. And you can watch the video for the new single, Tiptoe, which is out now as well. And take it away when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is Don't Know.
This is Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Gracie and Rachel. You can check them out on tour and look uh, for the new record coming out soon. Thank you guys very Woo! much for performing. Thank you so much, Audio Tree. Woo! Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound Woo! engineers, camera and lighting crew, hooking it up, Woo! and viewers. Thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send us out by social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.